I had that moment with um, yeah, what's that fucking relate, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio movie that, that everyone uh, so the Wolf of Wall Street. So I watched the Wolf of Wall Street and I loved it. It was great. But then I watched it tripping balls on acid, right? And I've tried to rewatch it since, and it is not near as yeah. fucking good after having seen that movie on there's acid. A, there's yeah. a lot of Ween songs like that where I'll hear them the next day and oh, go, oh. Ween, dude. <laughs> We, I, I've, Ween. I love Ween. I've seen Ween a bunch of times, but uh, Dude, I was yeah. like, yeah, there's a couple songs on their earlier albums where I was like, there's this some is weird totally ones. amazing. It's touching my soul. And then the next morning I was like, is that like a keyboard dog barking in the background? Yeah, there's some weird shit. Uh, but I got to see like some of their more basic, like uh, I don't want it. That's got one of the best guitar solos of all time. Oh, yeah. It's, not, it's simple. Fucking it's him not, green. It's not, yeah, it's Fucking not too many green. notes like Amadeus. Oh, there's two men in note. What two notes would you have me take out? You so guys on the are days, gonna fucking summon the Gord King because that's his favorite yeah. movie of all time. Yeah. Jack, I know Jack was not it's a good Jack movie. movie. Yeah, where well, are you on, in on Texas? Now? I like Amadeus. They showed us that movie in middle school music class. I couldn't believe that. That's the first time I saw Amadeus was in middle school music. I was in like seventh Hell grade. Yeah. Oh, they show the version with titties. A bad movie. They show the director's cut. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't remember titties, but I do specifically remember the scene where he's like uh, looking under the woman's dress, and so his father's like, "Oh, yeah. when's the wedding?" or something like that. There like, he is. There he is, Gord King. Here he is, Amadeus. <laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> so, uh, I, me and Gord King both have said that the director's cut with the extra scenes do not add anything to the movie. No, it's not. It's, it's theatrical cuts the way to go. Um, I didn't know there was yeah. a director's cut of Amadeus. I'm gonna be real. I, that's, that's the only one you can find on like streaming and stuff. And that's the really case is. with most of the movies nowadays. God forbid you find the theatrical cut of Legend somewhere, man. Oh, I would the love to see cut that. Sucks, dude. Uh, yes. There so, okay, so maybe I've only seen because I've never understood people hyping up Legend. I think that movie fucking blows. the version maybe you're I've looking for. The version you're cut. looking for has a super 80 synth soundtrack by Tangerine Dream. The yeah. new DVD version has like a fucking orchestra version with Howard no, Shore. Oh, give me the fucking synth. No way. It's not as good. No, it's James. Uh, who who does the music? I can't remember who did the redid it, but one of them. Tim Curry was doing the. All right, so oh, and also, every hot is longer for Tim some Curry reason. Tim Curry is overrated as shit. Oh, shut up, Tim Curry's, Tim Curry's. Tim Curry's amazing. Can someone like, kick like him? No, you know, don't even watch Tim Curry. Watch that. Watch that movie for the witch scene. The witch scene makes that movie. It's not that Tim uh, Tim Curry is overrated. It's that he didn't get to do enough great shit with his career. Yes. You know, he okay, was an amazing actor who was regaled to uh, Muppet movies and Home Alone and Rocky Horror and and uh, National Clue. Lampoon's Loaded Weapon. Clue. No, he no, could have done great stuff though. We always call my mom Tim Curry um, because one time, like you know, sometimes you'll just say something wrong. And she was like, "I ha I have chips and some mango salsa." And we were like, Ma, what the fuck? Why did you say it that way? I think she's like, okay, like Tim what? Curry. I didn't say it. I, I, Mungo think people give, I, think <laughs> I think people give Tim Curry the benefit of the doubt because of the disease he was inflicted with, if it was a stroke or something. And, and mm -hmm. you know, I thought you were talking about the it adaptation because that, that no, was a fucking disease. No, like, no. It's just, I think it was over a decade ago because I remember. Him in Red Alert, that was a sight to behold, mm -hmm. and that was a few oh, years yeah, before he, he got a stroke and, and suffered that ailment. So his career, you know, was curtailed yeah. in that. Well, that's why I can kind of talk about his career like it's already over, because it's like he's not going to do something <laughs> better than he's already done. And I'm yeah, that's what's he going to do, but... fight you? I mean, he's going to play like some awesome. If he plays some awesome role, I mean, is he dead now? Uh, he's alive, no. right? He's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. Oh, he's alive. Right. he might be dead. He's he's he might do some amazing. Yeah. He might do some amazing role, or he plays someone on his deathbed in a cool movie. That'd be cool, but it's probably not going to happen. And the posthumous uh, yeah. Oscar goes to Tim Curry. Like, yeah. Fun but you know what I got to say? Tim Curry was actually the replacement VA for the guy who voiced Palpatine in the Clone Wars after he oh. died. Yeah. Wow. Did oh, he was originally going to voice the Joker on Batman the Animated Series. Oh. I had heard that, yeah. Wait, hang on, minute, hang on a 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 minute. So if Peter Serafinowicz didn't do... Did you say for Darth Maul or Darth Sidious? Darth Sidious. Oh, okay, yeah, Darth sorry. Sidious. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah, he played... Uh, he voiced Palpatine after Palpatine's voice actor died. But, yeah. Man. Well, what's okay. well, like kind of Gord King said, it's like Tim Curry. Sorry. Yeah, he's kind of just more of like a turd polisher, like Jim Carrey. Like he gets hired to be in a shitty movie and make it better, um, which is and not a bad the, thing. He does make he does. them better. Yes. 
Yeah. It does. Worst wish. You know, I fucking love like Tim Curry. He's fuck the only you, thing Leon. we're watching in the worst wish, It man. might be your show, but How fuck you, you and your opinion about Tim see, Curry. I love no, Tim no, actually, Curry. That, I'm a Tim you, Curry fan. I'll open my eyes. I, I'll, I'll say that when you guys when you guys make that sort of argument, and maybe it's not it's Tim Curry's fault. Awesome. He's a really great actor. Oh, dude, the guy can well, sing like an angel. Yeah, he's a great singer. He's a great actor. He's a great showman. Well, I, I, also have I do the rock. I, I love, I love Rocky Horror, but I hate the fucking movie. Like, I love all the live shows and all the the events for Rocky oh, Horror. Like, I, yeah, I, I just like the stuff. soundtrack. And Don't I, get I, strung out by the way I look. I, I, I just think it's Sweet fucking friends. mental. What's that? Right. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had to do that considering you know I've got the fucking trans colors going. I have the urge, right but I'm not doing it. Oh, don't forget, uh, Tim Curry was also in Congo. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Okay. Yeah. He was. So was Bruce Campbell. He was in oh, yeah. Annie oh, or, as well. Uh, what's the, he was the bad dude in Fern Gully. Slime uh, beneath me. Slime up above. Palpatine has fuck all on Frankenfurter. Thank you, future boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Gord King says Tim Curry played Mozart in the stage version of Amadeus. Yes, he did. Oh, wow. And I did not know that. Then, uh, then uh, Mark Hamill did, and then that's how uh, he got the part of the Joker in Batman the Animated Series. He was doing all these uh, different laughs, and he attributes <laughs> his role as Amadeus on the uh, stage play for him uh, stealing the role from Tim Curry, who had already recorded three episodes. Interesting. Do you remember him in a Are scary those... movie too, where he, like oh, uh, yeah. the guy in the wheelchair and the guy with the hand keep fighting in front of him, and he's like, "We too, like knock it off, please." Like, I, I like my favorite part in that whole movie is where he's by himself because I know you can relate to this, Stupenzo, where he's got the tape recorder and he's like <laughs> making notes, and then he sees no one's around. And he goes, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> <laughs> "Oh yeah." Oh, Clue! Clue was a great movie. Yeah, I, yeah, Clue yeah, was awesome. I'm not, Clue. Clue. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not big on Clue. Like it's the movie itself is, I guess it's. I fine. mean, it's, it's the just... best movie you could hope for based on the board game. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah, a I... board game based movie, it was, it was <laughs> right. passable. See, yeah. I, I, I had never seen Clue, and then my first wife, it was like her favorite movie, so she hyped it up a fuck ton. So when we finally sat down to watch it for her to show it to me, you were like, oh. I was not impressed. And then oh, I wow. feel like she tried to get back at me because she had never seen Bat to the Future. And so when I showed her Bat to the Future, she's like, oh, yeah, you know, that was that was fine. I'm like, bullshit. You're only saying that because I didn't like Clue. Bat to the Future is fucking perfect. Yeah. So. Hostman <laughs> was recommending that we watch um, Three Musketeers, which Tim Curry's fucking amazing in. He's awesome. He's a great villain, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's also that, that really shitty cartoon, right? The Wild Thornberries. I fucking hated that show. Oh, yeah. I was, I was a little Thornberries? past my time. Yeah, I, I hate The Wild Thornberries. I do. I'm not a fan. Yeah, I didn't watch that. that. Yeah, well, the, the divorce ended up coming. It wasn't over Back to the Future, but the divorce ended up, did, it did <laughs> happen, Pula Wulu. So I'm going to catch up on but, Super Chats real quick. Uh, let's see where I leave off. Future Boy says, ACDC, come on, man. Um, ACDC's fine. I'm not a big ACDC guy. Like I, I appreciate what they did for music. I like Angus Young on guitar, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not huge on ACDC. I need dynamite. Zach says we need to stop attacking cops and go back to disrespecting Italians. How do you feel about that, Enzo? Yeah, mm. it's a no good. It's a no good. Yeah. <laughs> I, like. got, I, I gotta say, Zach's uh, Italians are Europeans and Europeans are white. Why don't we all come together and criticize the Atreian man? <laughs> LG, you can you could have whatever thoughts you want on Ryan, by all means. Just, just say whatever say whatever comes to your head. Nope. Mm -mm. No, I'm good. <laughs> Wakanda this forever. Water, this, this, my water, rule. This, this water is so good. I, I don't yeah, know. This water is so watermelon, <laughs> more like. Yeah, I think I'll join you, LG. It's like mm, it's so wet. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I, I'm drinking green mm. tea, but it's got a water base. So you know, I yeah, I'm like actually, I'm actually, I got some hydrogen. tea right here. Or it's one part hydrogen, uh, two parts oxygen. That's what's oh right. My God, an American no science. We're doomed. <laughs> really faster coming in with a fiver saying Apple Man's a genius, and I'm not saying that because I got high. Okay, maybe a little, a lot. <laughs> How about Apro Man when the cops raided his house? There it was. Yeah, I was I was waiting <laughs> on, on show, you know that that chat until we got to the video. Thank you, Future Boy. Then Future Boy coming in again with a ten. Uh, Land, do you really care about Hunter's Pickle? You enjoyed it. I, I I won't lie. That's again. I clearly didn't watch any of the videos or the the 
still Hunter I didn't Biden does not have a pickle. Was. He's got like a fucking meat sock. It's weird. Oh, it's a huge. Enzo, dick. you're Sicilian too. Yeah, <laughs> man. Nice. Man, uh, my grandmother. Afro man yeah. needs a sidekick named Weave Woman. <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, Gord King, you're my favorite. That's Great tweet the other day, by That's the way. Good, that, that I, I, you know, I could take that though. Weave one, <laughs> weave woman, <laughs> weave woman. <laughs> Leon from the trailer. I'm gonna park, get to the drawing board. Babies. I grew up in a trailer park. Yeah, so that, 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 that hits close to home. I appreciate you for reminding me where my roots were. That's my that's my favorite world star video is after the fight, there's just weaves all on the floor, and some guy who looks around and goes, Weaves everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. shit, I'm not saying that. Man, th- that was that was a great time on YouTube though. When you were just like, I don't know about you guys, oh. I was spending so many nights with friends just getting drunk or high or whatever, and just watching world star videos and being like, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> when it was like the Wild West and you could basically see whatever the hell you wanted. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. I have truly. Bro, telling you. All right, let's. Uh, the amount of time I spent with... on E Bombs World. Anyone remember? Oh, E-Bombs yeah. World? Well, I love oh, E Bombs yeah. World. Oh, shit. Yeah. I also love the White Team and D. White Team and D was the best. Uh, all right, what's the bins we got? Look, I'm in the 80s. E Bombs World is where I saw those G.I. Joe recuts. That's the first time I <laughs> saw right. those. G.I. Joe. Those changed so, my life. Who wants to so F- future boy bring it up like when the super chats start coming in rapid fire like you guys did it's i want to bring them up when the topic comes up but also we got a big panel here and i want to make sure mm. everyone gets their thoughts out before I, I interrupt and whatnot so yeah it's sort of going to be a, a mix and match of when i end up pulling them up so we'll just uh we'll, we'll just we'll just see where it goes we go with the flow um nobody's perfect future boy i am Oh, yeah, right. J- Jack is. Look, look, look at that jawline side. look at those glasses i don't know let's see your hairline let's see if you're actually perfect let's see your hairline he the hat even... can't come off. I glued it on ages ago. <laughs> yeah, the hats can't come off unless the headphones come off. It is my hair. Can I be like you, Jack? <laughs> <Your hair's> <laughs> <shaped> <laughs> like it's out here looking like he's about to write a song about the Communist Manifesto, then get fucking shot by a super fan. <laughs> Jack looks like one of those guys who like shaves his head even though he's not going bald. You know what I mean? He just like fucking keeps it high and tight. I, I like I like Ryan I with the sunglasses because, I am because going it kind of reminds me of John Belushi, and I hope Ryan goes the same way as John Belushi. So. Uh-uh. I, I, I going out like John Belushi doesn't sound like a bad time. I mean, I know you're right. I have to insult Stupenzo first. Stop playing with that wand that you call a microphone. We all know sure what thing. you do with it. It's a very phallic object. No, I, I I love the fact that Stupenzo over here like holding the mic like a fucking rocker the way when he does his videos. He's like, yeah, no, let's just. I'm not gonna do what everybody does and just use a static mic. No, I'm gonna move around. I'm gonna have like, like put on a show for you people. I do like the stand up mic. Uh, it's just more my style. I don't know. It's all that karaoke. It helps comfort me. Right it comforts it. me. Yeah, yeah, karaoke. I definitely take it off the stand <laughs> when I do karaoke. Right. Hey, hey, can you move slightly to the right again? Uh, <laughs> to the right or the left? The right. The right puts me more to the uh, this way. All right. No, 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 in the center. You're, you're, you're I like right. To- yeah, so I like to do the yeah. I like to do the rule of thirds thing. I like mm. to I like to be off to like here. Wait, like what's to, the rule of thirds? <laughs> the rule of thirds, where you know, a, you know, mm. your subject Same takes up a third. celebrity dies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, three celebrities die at once. Yeah, I want Stupenzo oh, and Brutus. To be on the same show because I love it when content creators who look like each other are on the same show. I'm into it. I hate it. I hate it here. LG uh, with me, me, July, me and LG uh, look exactly the same. Right, exactly. Yeah. What's uh, we look K- exactly is a metalhead. No, do do you together, not look exactly uh, like Eric July? <laughs> yes, yes. No, me, me and Wyatt's metal. We're talking about doing a uh, a show sometime in, uh, somewhere in May where it's just like celebrating heavy metal music. And since Stupenzo's a musician, I know Cabrus is in a metal. Maybe we'll oh, see about drums. making that happen. I don't know. That's a musician. Yeah, I just did one on Roman show. That was a great time. Oh really? What did you guys talk about on Roman show? It was uh, heavy metal or just metal post two thousand. So you know, just ah, oh post two thousand. You was that new tough stuff. actually because like a lot of my favorite metal bands are definitely mm-hmm. before the year two thousand. Was Dempsey mm-hmm. on that show, Sammy? He was. He was. Yes, great guy. We have. Yeah, Dempsey was another Dempsey, one that I was man. gonna see about getting mm-hmm. on for the heavy metal stream. Mm-hmm. Dempsey Reality is based my... music. Yeah, yeah. That's when I learned that I'm a hard rock guy and not a metal mm-hmm. guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, because uh, they're naming all these like uh Scandinavian bands, and I was like, I can't move here. Killer Mouse Death Muse, like, yeah. what? I'm like, man, that, hey, I, I'm rectoplasm. Like, 
<laughs> Rectoplasm. Yep. Rectoplasm. Puke Skywalker. Hey, 